here is another problem let's read it a long horizontal rod has a bead which can slides along its length the bead is initially placed at a distance l from the end a of the rod the rod is set in angular motion in horizontal plane about the end a with a constant angular acceleration alpha if the coefficient of friction between the rod and the bead is mu and gravity is neglected then the find the time after which the bead starts slipping on the rod so we keywords we discuss one is the friction idea coefficient of friction, mu a constant angular acceleration alpha and it is moving the horizontal plane so how to calculate after what time the bead will start slipping on the rod this is a combined problem the rod is rotating or also friction is present so we'll see how can we solve this one so this rod is moving with suppose angular velocity omega that we need to calculate c and it is given that it is moving with a constant angular acceleration alpha and alpha is given as constant quantity constant only so if you draw the free body diagram of this rod what are the forces will be acting on this one thing is that as the rod goes it will push the bead so rod will apply on the bead in normal direction and the bead try to remain here so there is there is a tendency of sliding will be there so due to tendency of sliding away the friction force will act and this friction force is required. This friction will be required to give the necessary radial acceleration because the bead is going in a circular path. And anybody moves a circular path, it requires a radial acceleration. Here, the there must be a force because normalization cannot provide this force in the perpendicular direction. So, friction must be present to give the necessary radial acceleration. So, this is the free body diagram. And the gravity is not there, so we have not taken the mg. So, what are the equations can be written that the friction force is provide the necessary radial acceleration and we know the value of radial acceleration is equal to m into omega square into radius radius is given as the l this length is given as the l so this is one equation we got okay now if you see this Another in the y direction you will see the normal reaction is provide the acceleration in the y direction that is called m into tangential acceleration. The n is provided tangential acceleration because with the constant angular acceleration alpha. So this n can be written as the m into alpha into L. Is the formula for the tangential angular alpha r alpha into L. And Till the time the bodies are the body is not moving, not sliding, that till the time the friction should be equal to static friction force. And we know the maximum value of static friction force Fs max is nothing but mu into n. So till the time body is not sliding, the friction force should be less than static friction force, or this is which is equal to mu n. So friction should force must be less than or equal to mu n till the time body is not moving. So we'll go to the next page to solve the problem. So what are the things we got? Friction force is equal to this m omega square l and is equal to m is equal to alpha l and friction force equal less than equal to mu n. Suppose at time t the sliding take place till the time till the time t time the body was not moving on the rod. So at t time you have to calculate the omega at that t time is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. We could apply this one because alpha is constant. But in the question starts from rest so omega is equal to 0. So we got that omega is equal to alpha t. So we got the omega as a function of time. At any time t omega is equal to alpha t. So we can calculate this value once we know the omega we can calculate the value of our friction force and alpha is given to us so we know the normal direction values we can substitute the values here i can get the m omega square l should be less than or equal to m omega square l should be less than mu into m and omega is equal to alpha t so if you could take this value alpha t then i can write m into alpha square t square 
into L. Uh, alpha t alpha square t square into L should be less than equal to mu into alpha m time alpha L. So this m m get cancelled. One alpha alpha get cancelled. And what you got the t square is less than equal to mu and here omega square on L also got cancelled to mu by alpha. This is equal to mu by alpha. So from this we get the value of time should be less than equal to mu by alpha uh, under root. Till this time the body is not sliding and after that time only body will start sliding with respect to the rod. So this is our answer here. We could have solved this problem in rod reference frame. This, this method what we applied is in the ground reference frame. But if you see in the rod reference frame then what will happen we will check. So in the rod reference frame this rod is here and as rod is moving if you observe the bead in the rod reference frame, what are the forces will be acting? There will be force one, the normal direction is there in the bead, any of the other real forces. This friction force will be there in the rod reference frame. But as rod is rotating reference frame, you need to consider another mathematical force called pseudo force. And what is the value of pseudo force? M omega square L. So there is a pseudo force there. And in the rod reference frame, what happened? The bead is at rest and earlier case in the ground reference frame, bead is moving in a circular path. With respect to rod, it is not moving. So in this case again, same F should be equal to M omega square L and N is equal to again alpha L. Same equations are there. But there we are saying the friction force is provided the necessary centripetal acceleration or radial acceleration. Here we are saying the friction force is balancing the our centri Fugal force. So this is the difference. After that, the method will be same with there again. F should be less than or equal to mu and use of teacher. And again, you can get the. And as the equations are same, we'll be getting again the same answer.